from potential harm, but some lawmakers argue those efforts don't go far enough. CBS News congressional correspondent Chris Van Cleve has the latest from Capitol Hill. Now I recognize that many in this room have deep reservations about our company. In the Senate hot seat, Instagram had Adam Masseri pushed back on claims the app can be toxic for teens. Instagram is addictive. Respectfully, I don't believe the research suggests that our products are addictive. Masseri's first appearance on Capitol Hill follows leaked internal documents showing the app proved harmful to young girls, increasing anxieties about body image and encouraging some teens to even contemplate suicide. He told senators Instagram supports an industry-wide body to determine best practices for safety issues, like verifying age, building age-appropriate experiences, and effective parental controls. I think we have to reach the point where we realize some real bad stuff is happening. And um, you're the new tobacco, whether you like it or not, and you've got to stop selling the tobacco. 15-year-old Mason Bogard died after apparently attempting a choking challenge he saw online. His mother, Joanne. I think now's the time for Congress to pass the legislation so that we can hold them hold big tech accountable for these things that they're letting slide through. They're harming our kids. Ahead of the hearing, Instagram announced new safety tools that will encourage teens to take a break after prolonged use and will soon roll out its first set of parental controls. The senators were not impressed. For me, this is a case of too little, too late. Three hours a day. Is that a good use of kids' time? I'm a parent. I ultimately think that it's a parent, that a parent knows best what's best for their teen. So the appropriate amount of time should be a decision by a parent about the specific teen. And Chris Van Cleve joins me now from Capitol Hill with more. Chris, aside from the new safety features unveiled on Tuesday, what more is Instagram doing to safeguard the well-being of its users, particularly the younger people?